here you go you can own a gun tomorrow here you go you can vote tomorrow so that's the thing even that part is flawed because my whole thing is if you put in your time and you did what you did for america as far as this is my punishment why aren't rights restored immediately no some This is Mr. Life coming to you from the coming to soon setup of a red chair affair where we're going to be talking love ish. I'm going to be sitting down having a conversation with single women, married women, but they are but but they all going to have one thing in common. They all going to be successful women inside their career. First up the gate will be my wife. Yeah, you'll finally get to see the wife on camera. So you're going to see how we interact with each other and I'm going to show the guys where a high value woman looks like not talking about her income. I'm talking about her lifestyle and the quality of woman that she is. So this is Mr. Life is Worth Living. Get ready for the red chair affair. Talking love is coming soon to you. You will see the setup coming along. We're going to have it ready to go for he hear you all soon. So peace. Get ready. I'm out. Um, uh, Pastor, uh, North Carolina, uh, Texas, Florida, um, some other states you name. Those are all Republican-led states. Um, with that being said, um, are does the Republican um, offer more freedom than the uh, Democratic Party, or does it? How, what, what's what? What are we saying here? Well. I don't I guess I need to know what does he mean by free because I'm like this is America and ain't nothing free like nothing is free in this country there's a cost to everything there's a fucking cost to freedom in this country let's just be honest yeah because freedom, freedom is not free freedom yeah. comes with the cost freedom comes with the cost of being educated I think a lot and, of people don't get that if if you want to remain free you got to be educated if you don't get your kids educated your kids won't be free what what do you call education? Because some people will call what you call education indoctrination. Uh, I think it's a little bit of all of that because there takes a form of indoctrination to make sure that your country stays a country. We we can say what we want to, but if we don't believe in the land of the free and the home of the brave, we begin to fall apart. We begin to. I mean, well, the if inside. if the land of the free and the home of the brave own slaves, then there's already a contradiction in that fucking statement. I'm with you on that. You're right. But still, no. Yeah, yeah. You're right. I'm with you. I cannot dis I cannot disagree with that statement you made. But just like I said, on some level, we still have to we still have to believe in that, or it all falls apart at some point in time. And and, and I think that's where we stand right now is that where America is ba is battling to actually overcome the ills of the past and move into to the future. And they in America doesn't know how to do that. Look at what happened to black people from the time that we became slaves until now. We've had like six name changes, right? We went from uh we went from Africans to slaves to nigger to negro to then we then we went to African American, Color. not then Color. black and and yeah color and then black and now they calling those people of color i don't know if y'all noticed the change but in the last year they started calling those people people of color now so we are missing that's our still the identity. same thing no, no, well that, it's that, actually that, weird because that's saying yeah. that you have one you have one definitive color and the rest y'all fucking rainbow like all <laughs> yeah. y'all fall up under these shades of colors and minority the is their biggest thing too you know well they you, love and, that. But even then like minority is a relative term because where you go you become the where you go if you're not part of the majority then you're a minority so it doesn't minority doesn't really make sense minority is, is a way they use to, it in business yeah it's a way to minimize a group of people by literally calling them a minority when they're not a minority right like that's that's just an it's just a little subtle shit like that like our refugees yeah i mean so, yeah you're not from here I get you. So back to you, Amari. What do you when we say the word education? What does that mean to you at that point in time? Because because I, I do be in, 
I do believe that, that you have to be some form of educated to make sure that everybody remains free. I think they're taking I, that away, but. Oh, I think so. So here's the thing, right? When you say education, there are various types of education because you've got like skilled labor education. You've got your classical education. You've got your, you know, a college level education. Like it's just, there's different types of education. And then it's like, but in part of all the education at an early age, we get indoctrinated to believe that we live in the greatest country on earth. So yeah, that, Shouldn't that's every country. Do you think? No, I, I think I think if you living in if you if you're living in like, what I don't know, gonna say it, that you, what country you gonna you're going to live in reality. Yeah. Versus yeah. Uh, thought process and mindset. Your mindset should be you the best ever. This That's why we have the Olympics. Yeah. So America can't be the, America cannot be the land of opportunity if the other lands don't have opportunity. Right. So no other country has a slogan land of opportunity, but America. So just because we case, coined it first doesn't mean it's right mm -hmm. some people can go over there like nobody's fucking not if, if, last if I, said, I go to the middle east my opportunity can be oil i might not be good at none of the stuff in america but okay. i can refine oil so, and, and so, become a, so a technically pioneer. if you want to look at the most people that migrate to the middle east they end up in slavery and they typically come from india and like pakistan <laughs> right like that's how that actually works yeah, that's how that shit actually works like so yeah but you talk about workers we talk about people look i'll say this you, i'm talking about human beings ambitious I'm talking about human beings. ambitious that's what i replace you don't have to have education america ambitious taught, taught ambitious is is walking in from america. south america through central america to well come we to you america. still over there i'm back to america if you in america if you don't have education and you got to grind and you have ambition you can get a lot done because there are a lot of people who don't you have to be degrees, an only fan star and and nobody and that's still in some of them grind not all of them but that small percent that goes hard they can make a prosperous lifestyle for them and their whoever they connected to so the thing is if you're a go-getter in america it shows you how to circumvent education so yes education is important but how many people have education are in debt and they're still trying to figure out how yeah, to yeah, balance but, life but, but that's why i said it's, it's you brought that up because i wanted to answer this way when I mean education, I mean uh, it was Abraham Lincoln or uh, what's the guy that they did the play about? Hamilton. 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 Hamilton mentioned that it's your civic duty to understand the civics of America. That means that you need to be educated in the civics of America. You need to understand the liberties, the limits, the freedoms, and and in order for you to do do that, you need to know how to read. So the basic understanding is that we should understand at least. The constitution when we're teaching these kids that and i think america has done a great job of stop teaching that to the kids so that kids would so that these kids these days where they would get one thing the freedom of speech and what that means because what we see right now you have no freedoms it's all about the is their freedom of what they feel about what you're saying versus versus you having the, the ability to speak something as long as my word don't actually impact or causation of harm towards you and we'll get into that next which means that my words don't threaten you i have the right to say what i want to say as long as my words my words my body my and my body parts doesn't infringe upon you or actually cause or hurt damage towards you so, so how does I, that do it how does that do with free states though because once again, it goes back to if you don't understand these those those things, and when you out there voting, they can tell you what's going on, and then they can change the laws, i.e., what's going on right now with your gun rights. Yeah, lo and behold, they they cannot outwardly ban guns, but guess what they started doing? They started buying up all the guns and all the bullets, and they started passing more laws to say that hey, these people can't get guns. These people can't get guns. If you have this, these people can't get. Guns. If you're black and you've been in jail, you can't own a gun too. Black people are the most ones that can't own own. Guns so right i'm glad you brought that up we've been to jail yeah this was my question though because I, I wanted to ask this earlier so does er, does every american citizen have constitutional rights yes they do in the beginning until and you then, yeah. uh, until that what is the amendment 18 because they written that for 13 yeah the one where you go to jail and then they get 13 right to, amendment yes they, they get the 13. Their, so yeah, that's my they, thing they take it so away. how many people are convicted felons whether it's, it's not just blacks whites blacks and all that so when you look at it like there are still stipulations even to the constitution everybody does not have constitutional rights right because we're not even talking about you might not have that one right. but you still have constitutional rights you still no have the they freedom eliminate to, more than you one you still have the freedom of speech am i man that sounds great so, but these people couldn't even wrong? vote 
till they change it it's not it's we acting like they're eliminating guns when you when people until recent time right convicted felon not only could you not um have the right to bear arms you also could not vote right it's not like it was just one singular constitutional right you lost you probably lost a good three of them right and so that's the thing it sounds good in america because you will say if this person did their time right because convicted mean if you're still in prison often obviously you're not owning well you're not legally owning guns you might get a you know some other little shanks and all that but once you free you served and did your time and they deem you fit to release your society so you would think it would have been automatic restoration right but no they had to change laws to give people restoration of rights because that was an automatic it wasn't automatic you got out oh you're a felon okay here you go you can own a gun tomorrow here you go you can vote tomorrow so that's the thing even that part is flawed because my whole thing is if you put in your time and you did what you did for america as far as this is my punishment why aren't rights restored immediately no some